Sitting beside me doing business news today, having been fronting checkpoint last week, is Sharon Brett Kelly. Hi, Sharon. Hi, John. Reserve Bank kept its official cash rate at a record low. That's right, 1.75%. No surprises there, John. The Reserve Bank Governor, Graham Wheeler, saying using the phrase numerous uncertainties are still out there in the economy. Numerous uncertainties, don't you love that? Uh, so what he's saying, global economic growth has increased, but still major challenges like this widespread political uncertainty. In New Zealand, GDP growth in the March quarter was lower than expected. Uh, the weaker export volumes and residential construction partially offset by stronger consumption. But he's saying that the growth outlook remains positive, supported by, here's another phrase, accommodative monetary policy, uh, strong population growth and higher terms of trade. In the housing area, and that's the big thing with the, with the economy at the moment, um, loan to value ratio restrictions, these various restrictions that are around tighter lending restrictions, uh, keeping the, the house price inflation down, but he's saying that um, that there is a risk of resurgence in the price because of the demand, particularly in Auckland. Um, so overall, it's playing down expectations yeah. while, and this is what I'm being told, while it's making that gentle transition from the regime of Graham Wheeler to the next governor. Now, Graham Wheeler ends his term in September. That's just before the rate decision of that month. And Grant Spencer, who's his deputy at the moment, he's stepping in and he's going to be the acting governor until a new one is appointed around about March next year. And it's about that time that economists are saying that the Reserve Bank is going to have to start thinking about changing its tone. Uh, right now, it's keeping a lid on things, inflation, house prices slowing down. In nine months, time things are expected to start picking up and so that neutral uh, tone is about to change and that's the time that the new person comes yeah. in and so economists are saying uh, expect interest rates to maybe start going up by the middle of next year. Okay so Graham Wheeler is effectively using numerous uncertainties and I think everyone agree would agree that that is the case and you mm. don't have to look far to find them. No. He, he's leaving the pitch clear for his replacement, isn't he? Yeah. Right. Okay. That's exactly what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. To sum it all up, yeah. yeah that's which, what he's doing. Which is quite classy of him in a way, Sharon, isn't it? Well, I suppose it is, yes. John. Yeah. What Depending on who you talk to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, he's had his critics, hasn't he? He sure He's had, has. had quite a tough time. Yeah. What's happened on the markets today? So the top 50 index closed up 36 points to 75.64. The New Zealand dollar is at 72.54 US cents and 96 Australian. Sharon Brett Kelly, Renaissance woman, thank you so much for joining us.